Hello everyone, Bon Yuki here with another video. This time I'm talking about a new lag tester that I received this morning called the Time Sleuth. It's pictured right here. And it's pretty simple. Um, you have HDMI on one side, USB on the other side. And um, what happens is, it has, it's just like a Leo Bodner lag tester. It's that with Leo Bodner you can only do one resolution. This one has the ability to do five different resolutions and you can mix and match whatever resolutions you want. Now, as you can see here, this is my Sony 3.4 uh, XBR 960. And people always talk about, hey, the lag, the lag, the lag. HDCRTs aren't really worth it. Well, let's take a look because I'm sending it out now and we're about to see what I get as a result. Now, I've already done this test but I'll do it from the middle. The middle is right here. So it is about 7.4 milliseconds. And I went through my entire home and went through a lot of different screens. Um, just to show you that it does work, here's a 1080p, which won't give anything because that's not what it does on this CRT. Uh, let's see here. That's the 1080i. That is 720. 720, you're going to have a little bit of lag because it's actually going through a process to convert it. And you can see 21 millisecond. Let's keep going. Let's do 40p. 40p gives me uh, 21 again. And believe it or not, I actually have 240p. And unfortunately, this TV does see 240p as 480i. Now, there are some modes you can use to try to fix that. Or, oh, look at that. I didn't even... Doesn't even see it. Oh well then. So let's go back to 1080i. Oh, that's uh, yeah right. That's 1080i, and we'll go back, and it's back to seven millisecond. So I went through my house, and I uh, did lag testing on all my screens, and the things that I found that obviously my CRTs have the least amount of lag, and because of that, it. Um, it just makes it a lot more noticeable when you're playing the games. Like, it's it's something you already knew. You kind of already knew, hey, um, you know, we had a CRT here, and it doesn't feel as crisp when you play on an LCD. Even my best LCDs, which are right there, I have uh, a Samsung 32-inch 4K inside that arcade cabinet. That, even at 1080p, because this thing only goes up to 1080p, gave me a lag about 16. The venerable TCL uh, 43S405, once again, 16. Or it actually was more like 15. The Believe it or not, the P-Series one, the 55-inch that I reviewed a, a while back, that actually did a little bit better. Uh, the best screen in my home, which... I do not doubt is this one. This is the Apple Studio monitor. This will do seven milliseconds of input delay on four of my five inputs. As you can see here, you can switch your input. There's a little little dial here. And you can just switch your input. Hope you guys can see that on the camera. But uh this monitor was able to take 40p, 720p. 1080i and 1080p all at 7 millisecond. As you can see, the Sony XBRs, um, they're not so bad. At 1080i, it's 7 millisecond. And then when you add the, uh, the, 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 the processing for 40p and 720p, it does go up to around 20 milliseconds. So it's, I mean, for everyone talking about, oh, they're laggy, they're laggy. They're about as laggy as today's game mode TV LCDs. And these are the better ones. But for 4 milliseconds, I'd go for the better image quality on these Sonys. And plus, they have component in and all that. Now, what's cool about this lag tester is that I was able to procure one of these adapters. It basically HDMI on one end, component on the other. And with these TVs... Once again, there was no input delay going from HDMI to component and vice versa. So anyone who has one of these HDCRTs, at least on the 960, if you disable all the processing, 
The component and the HDMI are virtually identical. I think component might have been a microsecond or two faster. Not a big difference. So whether you have HDMI or whether you have component, as long as you're sending 1080i, you're good to go on the, on the 960s. I can't talk about the 910 or the 970. My friend has those. Um, I'll have to ask him. Uh, what about regular SD CRTs? Yes, if you set this up to 240p, which I did, you will be able to test the input delay with these guys. And what I found on my JVC and my Sony, my JVC was also 7 milliseconds. So, when it comes down to being able to play modern games, if you can output 1080i, which quite a few things do, uh, PS3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, all those three consoles there, over HDMI will kick out 1080i. Um, I do believe the PlayStation 4 Pro also has a 1080i mode, so as long as you can get 1080i working, these Sony HD CRTs are perfectly fine. They're much better than any LCD anyway. And it's better than my OLED. Um, I did test out my OLED in the next room, in the living room, and that was a whopping 20 millisecond. Um, I did read and well about uh, Retro RGB's review dealing with his OLED, and he has a one year. I think he's got a a B6 or a C6, and on his, he said it took about 30 seconds in order for the lag to calm down. I did see that, but it was only in about five seconds. And I have a Charlie Seven, so. Maybe on newer OLEDs, you're looking at something a little faster. Uh, for the monitor that I have, I do have an adapter that they said would work really well, and it does. It's this one here. Uh, VGA on one end, HDMI on the other. You just plug it right into this guy. Boom. And then it works. So no no lag there. Um, this Apple Studio monitor is 7 mils millisecond with everything the eight sd crts are seven millisecond on 240p these hd crts are seven millisecond whether it's component or hdmi and 1080i and then everything else is you know close to a frame over a frame um oh one last thing before i cut you guys off and let you get going the tcls no kidding do process 240p over hdmi not only do they process the 240p but they do it at a whopping 14 millisecond this one and the one upstairs i think the one upstairs is actually less it might be 13 i'm going to post my numbers in the comments below and if anyone has any questions i mean this was made by i believe citrus psi 3000